Hi there and welcome back. We are going to look at um, finding the minimum, maximum of our array or of our vector. But before we start, I just want to show you a fun fit. So an array that we are going to work with, I'll call it array. First, clear screen, clear all, clear, CLC. So the array that we are going to work with, it's basically one, four, seven. If you look at my screen, I just created a row vector because I just put square brackets to show a vector and I didn't put any um, anything besides spacing or you could also do commas. It's the same thing. So these two statements are basically the same thing. We just created a row vector. If I run my file, it should just display one, four, seven. Fun fact, you can represent this in more than three ways. One of them including one, S2, 3, S2, 9. So what we basically did here is that we said starting from 1 all the way to 9, spacing of 3. From 1 to 9 with a spacing of 3, you should get 1, 4, 7. Another way to represent this is by saying len space, so if I run my file, I should get this. Great. So another option to do this is by either saying lint space 173, starting at 1 all the way to 7 with a spacing of 3. And basically, we just represented 147 in different ways. I hope that makes sense. Now, what you tuned in for is for us to find the minimum and maximum of our array. Okay, now let's find minimum, maximum of our array. The array that we are going to work with is A, which basically says we are going to start from 1 all the way to 9 with a spacing of 3. If I put a semicolon, I'm omitting it from displaying on my command windows. Now, to use the minimum function, I'll say min A, which should basically find the lowest value of our vector. Maximum which should find the highest value of our vector and the size A of our vector. If I run this file, you'll notice that the minimum is 1, maximum it's 7, and the size it is, we have our size that's displayed as 1, and three. I really, really hope this makes sense. Thank you so much for watching.